<laughs> if there was a song or movie that would sum up your four years at Millican, what song or movie would it be? Oh no. This is a shout out to my sisters in Pi Fi. Um, our song is Come On Eileen, and we dance to it at every um, formal that we've ever had. Um, we do it for every bid day, and um, I was always a chant leader for my chapter, so I had a lot of fun leading that dance, and um, being a part of that chapter was a huge part of my Millican experience. If you could pick any celebrity to be the face of Millican, who would you pick and why? Um, I think I'd totally pick Jennifer Aniston. I'm totally in love with her. And so I think that would be like the best face for Millican. What has been your greatest accomplishment? I knew I was going to get this one. I'm part of a uh, class called Shakespeare Corrected here at Millican University. And we just did our first ever um, performance uh, over at Making Resources Incorporated, which works with individuals who are differently abled. And so we performed a Shakespeare production of Midsummer Night's Dream with the participants there. And myself and three others were all co-directors there um, of the program. And that was one of the most rewarding, one of the most challenging events that we took on because it's absolutely applying everything that we had to do. Describe Millican in three words. Unique, diverse, extravagant. It's different. <laughs> what group or team were you a part of all four years? And what is your favorite memory with them? I've also been involved with uh, the Center for Entrepreneurship in a number of ways. Uh, the, I guess the most relevant involvement that I had was with a startup project that I was on last year. And uh, I was the chief technology officer of this student-run startup. And my favorite memory has to be, <laughs> we got, at one point we were in a, a startup accelerator and uh, we had to stay at a hotel, but we had to cover for the incidentals. And so that left me with like zero dollars in my bank account. <laughs> and <laughs> I ended up having to eat like chips for dinner because we were going to this Mexican restaurant. And you know, just, it, and I was just so happy to be in that situation, honestly. It was just so uh, fun to be involved in something that I had never done before. Uh, and you know, just having that memory you know, I, I wasn't ever in any real danger or anything, but it was just a lot of fun to immerse myself in this type of experience with a, with a startup. Um, so yeah, being poor and eating chips for dinner was probably one of, the, one of my favorite memories here at college. What restaurant will you miss the most when you leave Decatur? Oh my gosh. Blue Spoon is like the best restaurant ever. Like you walk into there and I think like the first time I was there, I like tried doing the four like stackers because you like you, if you like eat it all within like an hour or something you're here for free. No, I couldn't finish the first stack, so. Why does Millican stand out from other schools? Millican holds a really special place in my heart. I think that this institution is um, so caring and so wonderful towards its students and it gives them so many opportunities that a lot of uh, older or bigger universities may not offer. Um, and so I think the biggest thing that Millican has given me is performance learning. Um, without it, I don't think that I'd be, um, I don't think I'd have the job that I have now and I don't think that I'd have um, the relationships that I have with my professors or with my faculty. Um, so I think that performance learning is what makes Millican stand out. Oh, what is your favorite big blue event that happens that happens every year? Homecoming, anything homecoming related. Um, the step show, the parade, everything big blue for homecoming. If a student was deciding between Millican and another school, what would you say to them about coming to Millican? Mm -hmm. Really funny thing about that is that when I was going through schools, um, a lot of them was also auditioning because of my theater major as well. And Millican was the only school I got into, so I was like, oh yeah, great, I'm in Millican. And so it wasn't really a, a hard decision for me because it really was my only option. But in, in feeling that and knowing that it, it, and observing that it wasn't really my only option was really kind of like a big aha moment for me, like aha, there you are Millican. <laughs> um, but if I had to say something to someone who was having trouble deciding, I think Millican really provides you with a genuine experience. Um, I think that you are allowed to be your 100% authentic self without any apology. And 
which can go great or not sometimes, but most of the time it should because Millikan emulates values that are ethical, values that support inclusivity and diversity on this campus, which is a huge thing, might I add, that I love. But Millikan allows for you to be your authentic self and to apply every aspect of your life to the classes around you and let those things also to apply, also let those things apply with each other, which I don't think a lot of other schools like try to really put out there. But that's what I would say. And that's it! <laughs> okay. This was so much fun! <laughs> Yay!